My name is Rowena and I'm a photographer. So I guess my motivation came from seeing so much amplification of perfect family lives on social media and I guess I was struggling in a lot of ways with my own experience of family life and um, domesticity and obligation and I, I started to want to put forward and celebrate the really challenging parts of family life and have them seen and validated and so when I started doing that for other families and showing you know photos of parents at their wit's end, kids crying, tantrums, messy houses, uh, it kind of just became my purpose to celebrate that full spectrum of family life in a way I hadn't seen on social media before. I've really enjoyed during the pandemic using portraiture as a way to separate myself from my struggles. I really believe that my portraits are all self-portraits in a way. So often if there's an aspect of myself that I'm struggling with, I might photograph that in someone else in some way. And the act of separating myself from that struggle by seeing it in a portrait helps lighten it and helps me move away from it. When I do look back at the body of work, I realise that I'm very drawn to photographing the tougher moments and the, uh, the melancholy of family life. Often when I've done a shoot, I realise that I even put my camera down sometimes when, when there's very joyous or neutral moments. In, and I am very drawn to photographing sadness, as I, as I can see. <laughs> when I look around, I'm like, oh, my photos are, all my favourite photos are quite sad. I, I think at the heart of that is my desire to help people see sadness as worthy of documentation, worthy of validation and, and beauty. My hope is for people who see the work to have a newfound reverence for the absurdity, the melancholy and the beauty of childhood and just domestic life generally.